So the next one we're going to go for is our steam oven. So for this steam oven, right, the function is very easy and very straightforward. So for this one, it's the on button. So it same goes to the oven whereby, right, um, every time you reset or you totally turn the electricity off and you turn it on back on again, you have to reset your timer. So to reset the timer, right, just long press and you can hear a blink, uh, a, a blink sound and from here you can set your timer. Once you're done with setting your timer at your current time, press this button. So this is a turn on button, so switch it on. So for the first one, right, it's the main menu. So for the main menu part, right, uh, for the temperature, you can uh, actually change to any temperature that you wanted to. So over here, there's a temperature, you can press it and you can use this button here to turn to the but, uh, turn to the temperature that you wanted to. Once you're done with the temperature, right, you can press it again to start. So over here, once you press the button over here, it will show how long that you wanted to do your uh, steaming. So you can set like maybe 10 minutes and you press this button again and everything will start. For the next one, the next menu, uh, 95 degrees Celsius. So for this one, right, you're unable to change the temperature. So this is a preset menu that it's, has been fixed in here. And the third one, right, it's a defrost, whereby the temperature is set as well. It's 65 degrees Celsius. And you can see there's a, a little stove flag at the middle there. This one is a defrost. And the fourth one. So for the fourth one, if you read properly, and you can see that there's a book over here. So this is the guide. So for this guide, right, you can follow accordingly to our manual whereby inside there's everything inside uh, to show you um, what is it for. So for the menu, right, we totally have 32 program here. So depends on what you're doing, going to do. So you can refer back to our manual there. Okay, so for the next one. So after the guide, we have memories. So um, let's say that you want to memorize um, the temperature and the timer that you always use, always the same thing, you just press this. So as you can see, 100 degree. So you can set the temperature that you want to do, 80 degrees Celsius. And for the timer, 10 minutes. So if you want to memorize this one for good, you just press the middle button, long press, and it will show you the memory one, two, or three. So if you want to set on the first one, just press back the button and it will be the menu on your first memory menu. So for the memorized menu, right, it can be rewrite. So you don't have to worry about it. Lah. So you can have to, uh, you can rewrite it over and over again. It's up to you. So whenever we wanted to use our steam oven, before we start using, right, make sure you check this part over here. This part is the part where you put your water inside here. So over here, you can see there's a word max here. So whenever you pour water in there, there's a maximum level whereby the line is over here. So once you have poured in the water already, right, just put it back in. Once you put it back in, right, use your finger, push it in like this, okay? So the next one over here is when you do the, all the cleaning, right, make sure everything is out advisable not to put the things back in once you're done with the cleaning and everything is dry. If you have some storage, storage places where you can put your things, you can just put it back there. So try not to put it back into the oven to avoid any, any rusty, rusty thing happen, okay? So for the cleaning part, right? For this part, advisable cleaning once per month. So you can pour water over here until it fill up to the black line over here and pour some it's either use vinegar lime or you can use baking soda right to clean up the lime scale over here so this is once per month so once you're done with all the cleaning right make sure you use a cloth to wipe everything out and make sure the steam oven it's dry itself everything must be dry so you can see there's one black color things over here right this one is a drainage for the steam oven so for the steam oven, right, once you're done with everything and use everything already, right, you need to remove this one. So for this drainage, right, is to prevent the water from dripping off from the steam oven and goes on to your cabinet. 
So to move it right, pull it up gently and pour out all the water, wash it, dry it and put it back. Just like that. And you're good to go.